In this video, we're going to be simplifying algebraic expressions. And in one, it says use the distributive property to clear the parentheses from each expression. In A, we have 5 times x plus 4. So the distributive property, we're going to multiply the 5 times each term inside the parentheses. So this is going to be equal to 5x plus 5 times 4. And we can simplify that to 5x plus 20. In B, we have 2 times x plus 4y minus 3. So the first thing we're going to do is multiply each term in the parentheses by 2. So I have 2x plus 2 times 4y minus 3 times 2. And this is equal to 2x plus 2 times 4 is 8, so we have 8y, minus 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. In C, we have a negative sign out in front of the parentheses, and you can think of that like negative 1. So we could say negative 1 times 5 minus 3x plus 2y. So we're going to have negative 5 plus 3x minus 2y. And if you look at it, each sign has been changed because we multiplied it by a negative 1. In D, we have 3 over 10 times 2x minus 1 6. So we're going to multiply 3 tenths times each term in the parentheses. So we have 3 tenths times 2x minus 3 tenths times 1 sixth and 3 tenths times 2 is equal to 6 tenths x minus 3 times 1 is 3 and 10 times 6 is 60 and we can simplify this 6 over 10 simplifies to 3 over 5 and 3 over 60 simplifies to 1 over 20. In 2 it says simplify by clearing grouping symbols and combining like terms. So the first thing we want to do is use the distributive property and distribute this 2 out in front of the parentheses times the terms 6x and 4. And then we also want to distribute this negative 2 to x plus 1. So we're going to have 2 times 6x is 12x plus 2 times 4 is 8 and we have minus 5x, and now we have negative 2 times x is negative 2x, and negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And now we want to combine like terms. So I'm going to group my like terms first. So I have 12x minus 5x minus 2x, and then I have plus 8 and minus 2. So now I can combine my 12x minus 5x minus 2x and that is 5x and then I have 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. In B we have 12 minus 4 times 2 times 5 minus x minus 8x so the first thing that we're going to want to do is distribute the 2 times 5 minus x so we're going to have 12 minus 4 times, now we have 2 times 5 is 10, minus 2 times x is 2x, and then we have minus 8x. So now I'm going to combine my like terms inside my parentheses. So I have 12 minus 4 times 10, and we have a negative 2x and a negative 8x, which is negative 10x. And now I'm going to distribute my negative 4. So I'm going to have 12. I have negative 4 times 10 is negative 40. And then I have negative 4 times negative 10x gives me positive 40x. So now we can combine our like terms. And we have 40x. And now we have 12 minus 40 is equal to negative 28. 
and C we have 1 fifth times 15 minus 3x minus 1 tenth times 10x plus 2. So we're going to distribute the 1 fifth and the negative 1 tenth first. So we have 1 fifth times 15 is equal to 15 over 5 or 3 and then minus 3 times 1 fifth is 3 fifths x and now I have negative 1 tenth times 10x leaves me with negative x and negative 1 tenth times 2 is negative 2 tenths which simplifies to 1 fifth so I have negative 1 fifth and this is equal to 3 minus 1 fifth minus 3 fifths x minus x and now we need to do 3 minus 1 fifth so we're gonna need a common denominator and we're also gonna need to combine our negative 3 fifths x and our negative x so I'm gonna come up with a common denominator as well there and our common denominator for both is gonna be 5 so if I wanted to write 3 with a denominator of 5 I would write it as 15 over 5 and then we have minus 1 fifth minus 3 fifths x and if I wanted to write negative 1 with a denominator of 5 I would write it as minus 5 over 5 x so now we have 15 fifths minus 1 fifth gives me 14 fifths and then I have negative 3 fifths minus 5 fifths is negative 8 fifths times x. In D we have 1 fifth times 2 thirds minus 3x minus 1 tenth times 2x over 3 plus 7. So we're going to distribute the 1 fifth and the negative 10 first and I get 1 fifth times two-thirds minus one-fifth times three x and then I have negative one-tenth times two x over three and then we have negative one-tenth times seven one-fifth times two-thirds is going to give me two over fifteen and we have minus 1 fifth times 3x is going to give me 3 fifths x. And now I have 1 tenth times 2 thirds is going to be 2 over 30, which also simplifies to 1 over 15. So we have minus 1 over 15 x. And now we have negative 1 tenth times 7 is negative 7 over 10. And now we need to combine our like terms. So we're going to rearrange this. So I have 2 over 15 minus 7 over 10 minus 3 fifths x minus 1 fifteenth x. And now we need a common denominator to combine our like terms. And our common denominator for 2 over 15 and 7 over 10 will be 30. So if we wanted to write 2 over 15 with a denominator of 30, we would have had to multiply by 2 over 2. And 2 times 2 is 4, minus 7 tenths with a denominator of 30. We would have multiplied by 3 over 3. So 7 times 3 is 21. And 3 fifths and 1 fifteenth, our least common denominator, will be 15. So if we want to write 3 fifths, with a denominator of 15 we would have had to multiply by 3 over 3 and 3 times 3 is 9 so we have 3 fifths is equal to 9 fifteenths and then we had our x minus 1 fifteenth x and this is equal to 4 minus 21 is equal to negative 17 over 30 and then we have negative 9 fifteenths x minus 1 fifteenth x is equal to negative 10 over 15 x and we can simplify this one last time we can write 10 over 15 as two-thirds so we're gonna have negative 17 over 30 minus two-thirds x 
And that's our video on simplifying algebraic expressions.